Well, a break from the heat and any chance of rain can only help with our wildfires. Tonight, we are updating you on the two wildfires along the Front Range that are not contained. The situation with the Cory and the Alexander Mountain fires much improved, though, over a week ago, as both of these fires are now over 80% contained. We want to start with a Cory fire in Jefferson County, still sending off some smoke into the air. Your reporter Olivia Young joins us live there tonight as people learn they could finally go home. And Olivia, oh my gosh, what a relief for so many families. It certainly is, Karen. The high school that has served as a shelter to these evacuees for the last week will be closing its doors to them tonight at 7 because they don't need it anymore. But before they can go home, they do have to come here to get badges so they can get back into their neighborhoods. Today, those evacuees shared what this homecoming means. Yes, yes exactly. it's the good news these evacuees have been waiting for. The word of the day is relief. It's finally time to go home. It is time. For the past week, hundreds have found sanctuary at Dakota Ridge High School. Food, clothing, they were actually, my staff was even doing laundry for some of the evacuees. We've had about 25 to 30 staying the night here. As they anxiously watched crews fight the quarry fire. Roller coaster. Worry was up and then it would be some relief. But at 10 a.m. Tuesday, that good news came. All mandatory evacuations were lifted and no structures had burned. There was standing ovations in the crowd. Uh, lots of tears, happy tears. Incredible joy. Then a flurry of packing. Okay, I'm, gonna... I'm in the front. As blankets, belongings, and pets were loaded into cars. Neighborhoods under mandatory evacuation have moved to pre-evac status. It means those residents can go home, but still need to be ready. We are going to have these prepared bags, things still in the car for a few days. Areas already under pre-evac are now all clear. Have a good one. You, uh, you as well. The fear that's gripped evacuees finally extinguished. In its place, perspective. Just hold on. Keep breathing, keep showing up, keep holding on to your neighbor and know that everyone got out alive. And well, gratitude. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very much Bless appreciate you. Advice. Again, all evacuees need to come get those badges from Dakota Ridge High School by 7 tonight. You'll need to show that to deputies in order to get back into your neighborhood. If you can't make it by 7, no worries. Just reach out to Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. In Jeffco, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First. So great to see all those hugs and smiles. All right, Olivia, thank you.